Jason Howard here with Unthreat Movement. I am excited to be bringing you guys a new video series called Walk in the Spirit. This video right here is going to be an inter uh, introduction of the spirit, I mean, of the video Walking in the Spirit to kind of give you guys a, 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 a you know, understanding of what we're going to um, be doing and what we're going to be talking about. A quick, um, a quick, you know, in the introduction, um, we're going to be talking about, um, the first video is going to be called The Spirit Versus the Flesh. And I really want to do that first because I want to give you an understanding of what the spirit is and what the flesh is. Uh, in a sense, the flesh is our battle. The flesh is what we fight against. The flesh is, as you will learn in, in, in the first um, video, the flesh is the very thing that wants to come, that, 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 that want us to walk in. That's what that's what our nature want us to walk in. When we're born, we're born into that nature of flesh to walk in it, to you know, um, do everything. The first birth, the first birth is that that they're born into flesh. You know that they're born with flesh into flesh. When we get older, to understand that the second birth is the birth born into the spirit. Um, that's why it's so important that we get baptized because once we go in that water and come up and symbolize the second birth we are now birthed into a spirit you know and 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 um i know a lot a lot of times we don't really want to um we don't we don't talk about that in the church we 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 rarely talk about the holy spirit as a a a life you know as as a way we're supposed to live we talk about him um you know a lot of times as something emotional how we feel at a moment or you know how it, how it makes us react you know, um, you know, if 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 I feel the Holy Spirit, I'm, I should dance around, you know, and, and and if I feel the Spirit, I should, you know, move around and, and shout up the fire, like fire, shout up in my bones and all that. No, 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 no. It's a lifestyle that we have to live. We're called to live a lifestyle of walking in the Spirit. We're going to be coming in in, in this series out of Galatians. Um, we're going to be coming out of Galatians chapter five. Um, this is a letter that Paul wrote to the Galatians. And um, honestly, the Galatians was um, was 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 stuck on how they should. They had they had no understanding of this. So this was a letter um, to them saying, um, Paul saying, you know what, this is what we're called to do. This is what you know the Lord Jesus was called to do. Understand something. These scriptures are inspired by God. They're given to us by God. Paul was a man of God, a man who was always, you know, in prayer, who was always, you know, you know, he he was teaching the word in God, but he was always in the position of being taught from God. So understand Paul understood the spirit because he was in the spirit. And these very words that we read and we study is the spirit led. These are these are what the spirit led to Paul to to, to teach Paul to teach the people, you know. So, um, and I, I, this one just came to me, um, I, spirit. A lot of times, people wants to, you know, question the Bible. You know, especially unbelievers, they want to question the Bible. The reason why unbelievers question the Bible because they're they have they don't understand the whole spiritual aspect of it. What I mean by that is I'm not talking about you know uh, spiritual mean literally to have the spirit of God. And spirit, spiritual, being walking in the spirit. That's what spiritual means. You know, having the spirit of God lead you and guide you. That's being spiritual. But we're living in a day where um, that that whole definition of spiritual has been hijacked to mean you know um you know um religion. You know, this is my this is my religion. I'm spiritual now because I believe in Jesus. I, I, I'm spiritual now because you know I have a, a thought about a God or you know. I believe in you know I believe in, in 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 many religions. I'm very spiritual. The more the more religions you believe in, the more spiritual you are, and that's not what spiritual is. Spiritual, the original meaning for spiritual is being led by the spirit of God. And um we 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 forget that in this culture today because I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of people is not led by the spirit of God. Even um people in the churches you're not led by the Spirit of God. Here's the deal. If you sit under a pastor who does not 
you know, who is not led by the, the Spirit of God, and he's leading you, you're not being led by the Spirit of God. You're being led by whatever that pastor is being led by. That's why it's so important that you find someone who is being led by the Spirit of God to follow. You know, at some point, you know, um, I'm a firm believer that we have to, it happened in my life, you know, I, I got behind my pastor who was led by the Spirit of God, and he brought me up and brought me up in God, in, in the Spirit of God, but it was ordained because I was already led by the Spirit. I was already, before I got under my pastor, I was already led by the Spirit. I prayed to the Spirit that he lead me to where I need to go to be built up. There's a difference. When I was a baby Christian, I still studied my word. I didn't understand a lot of it. But I still studied it, and I, and I knew to ask God for the understanding. I knew to ask God, you know, for for the for the spirit of understanding. Uh, I, I knew to ask God, how do I walk in the spirit? And the spirit led me to a man of God who was already walking in the spirit to take me under his wings and, and, and lead me and show me how to walk in the spirit of God. Just like the spirit led me to, leads me to, you know, do these videos. Um... A lot of times, like, I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of times I'll just be studying and, and be like, okay, time to record. And I just literally just be in, be in my study time, push record, and the, the Spirit of God just t literally takes over. Even just now when we start to, I, I, I had no plans on talking about, you know, um, um, spiritual. That, that That's the Holy Spirit talking to me. I've As I was talking about the whole spiritual aspect just earlier in this, this same video, I was learning, understanding myself, you know, the whole meaning of spiritual, you know, that was, that was straight from the Holy Spirit. A lot of times, you know, we have to be submissive to the spirit of God and, and, and not just be submissive to a man or a teacher, you know, um, um, if you're submissive to the spirit of God, he may say, you know what, um, this person has did everything I needed him to do, not need to shift you to be over here. But if we're not led by that spirit, we will never see that shift that needs to come. A lot of times um, we, we do things and not understanding that we're doing them in vain because we're not led by by God's spirit. You know, um, you, you, can, you can say what you want, but if your pastor, and you're going to learn, if your pastor is a pastor who walks in flesh, I don't care what kind of talent he has to preach the word of God. If he's walking in flesh and you follow him, you're following a man who's walking out the flesh, so you're following his flesh. You're being led by flesh. See, here's the, deal. the Bible says you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve two masters. Either you're going to hate one or you're going to love, you're going to love one or you're going to hate and you're going to hate the other one. So if your pastor is walking, this is why it's so important. If, you, if you're behind a pastor who's walking in flesh, and we're going to get some understanding of the flesh, and we're going to get some understanding of, in, 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 of the spirit in this, in this video series. But if your pastor is walking in flesh, and you're not walking in the spirit, see, if you're walking in the spirit and your pastor walking in the flesh, you're going to know as soon as he starts walking in the flesh, okay, you know what, I got to say something to him. He got to stop this walking in flesh. I, I, he can't be my leader no more. You know, sometimes, um, sometimes somebody, you know, somebody um, brought this to me. It was a blessing when they said that sometimes, you know, um, she she was at a church that you know a lot of people thought was like a um, a church where the pastor was definitely walking in the spirit, where a lot of the members was walking in the spirit. Trust me, if the pastor walking in the spirit, the members are going to be walking in the spirits. So she was, um, I mean, in the flesh. If if the pastor's walking in the flesh. The, the 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 members of the uh, church is going to be walking in the flesh. If the pastor's walking in the spirit, <laughs> the members of the church is going to be walking in the spirit. I'm having a hard time with my tie today. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, um, I digress. Let's get back to the whole thing. If the pastor's walking in the flesh, the members are going to be walking in the flesh. But sometimes God will plant a person who's walking in the spirit to you know you know to to reveal to that that church to that ministry that it's a lot of flesh going on. And they need to come out of it. You know, uh, you know, in that aspect, if you got that calling from God and you walking in the spirit, you will know because God will clearly make that, you know, your assignment. We we, we forget that um, there's a lot of different assignments that we have in, inside the um, church. Um, some people are, are, are assigned to, you know, um, you know, the whole door. They're very friendly. They um, they they got that spiritual assignment to hold doors and you know get people hugged and all that that's ministry 
we have some people who are assigned to lead the flock, to lead that church, to govern that church. We have some people designed to pastor that church. We have some people designed um, spiritually to youth pastor that church. You know, so we have different aspects, and it goes more than just you know the 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 the, the, the big jobs. You think you know the ushers, the pastors, the deacon. It goes bigger than that. It, you know, God have people planted at the ministry just to pray for that ministry. They don't have no other assignment. They they can be inside that ministry, and they their whole assignment is to pray for that ministry, to stay in constant prayer for that ministry. You know, God have you know God have you in a position. You see, that's the thing. We don't never know why God do things in our life. That's why we can't be so quick to just run out of things. You know, that's why we got to be so quick to be in the spirit. That's why it's so important that we walk in the spirit because when <laughs> that we walk in the spirit. When when things in, inside that ministry goes wrong, doesn't mean it's time for you to just up and leave. You know, if you're walking in the spirit, God may have you there for that time. It might be time for you to shine. It might be time for you to put your super your spiritual superhero suit on. It's time for you to suit up and you know do what you was uh, called there to do. Some people are called there to you know to, they can see uh, that that person coming in. That person is very fleshly. You know, um, they don't have an understanding of the spirit. So you know what. It, this is what God has me. I'm gonna pray for this person. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand in. I'm gonna fast. I'm gonna do everything I gotta do for this person, so that, you know they can they can you know have an easy. Time. We don't we don't know what we call in the ministry to do. You know it, it, we we're not all called for leadership, and I think that's the biggest misconception is is we all call to get in the ministry to learn and then go move to leadership to be a head in a, in a ministry. No, that's not how God works. That's why it's so important to be in the ministry so you can have I me mean, be in the spirit so you can have an understanding of your calling in that ministry, you know? So this is um this has been a um you know just a quick overview or a quick you know, uh, introduction of, of the series of what we're going to be, you know, learning into and learning in the, um, you know, the, the, the spirit of fear, um, the walking, I'm sorry, spirit of fear. I'm sorry. The walking in the, in, in the spirit, um, I'm say, um, um, series real quick, go. And, um, this is going to be a mini series. It's not going to be a big series. I have a series, um, on, on love. It's called true love. It's going to be a six, um, um, day DVD, uh, uh, not DVD, a six day video series. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a thorough, um, a thorough study of love. You know, um, man, man, it's powerful. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I am, I, I've started, uh, promoting it on, on Facebook. So, um, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna, if you wanna have that when it come out, subscribe to the channel. You know, and then you're gonna get that and other videos. Um, next week, I haven't, you know, really um got. I'm gonna tell you some time ago. We, we, I, I don't know what what's gonna come, what's gonna happen for next week, or what the study is gonna be. But I will say this: I've been, you know, um, at a position where God has been saying, you know, He really, He the focus with me. Right now, it's really been in the Word of God and just on, on, on teaching and teaching and teaching. Even even with this series right here, the Spirit of uh, walk, uh, walking the Spirit, it was something that you know I I was already I was just studying and studying and studying. And God said, you know what? It's something more here, that I, and it's something I want you to get to the people. So you know, I'm just being faithful. A lot of times, it's just me being faithful. I I, I did not, you know, I, I, I listen. To be honest with you. Be faithful to God. I'm gonna tell you because you 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 don't never know. And just because you know, even at times when you're being faithful to God, it seems like everything in your life is going wrong. This is a word. It seems like everything in your life is going wrong, and it's hard to be faithful. But stay faithful because when you think everything is going wrong, God is doing something behind that. God is molding you into something. Listen, um, Job. You know, um, Job was was. was <laughs> It said that Job kids would go partying, you know, and Job would get up early in the morning and go and make offerings for them. You know, that's not something easy to do. You know, that, that that's, that's not something easy to do. You know, it had to be hard for Job to get up and just go make offerings all the time. Because it said, you know, it, it made like his kids was partying a lot. It, it, it wasn't something to do. But think about it. Just think about Job being faithful. And he was already doing, you know, giving up his livestock for his kids. You know, a lot of people say, man, I got to give up this right here. You know, just imagine, you know, you're going going to pay, you know, making a tithe offerings. You know, say, okay, you know what, Lord, um, I, I'm going to get 100 give give $100 of my uh, of my paycheck, you know. 
because my, you know, I, I really need my kids. You know, I really need to, you know, you know, you to be in their lives and everything. Job did that. Then to turn around and lose his kids, you know, Job was already doing some crazy thing like that, but it was all working out for the good of Job. It was always it was all working out for the good of Job. See, you can take that whole situation of Job and everything got worse and worse and worse. But it was getting so much better because he had God showing him off. <laughs> that's the ultimate. That's 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 just the ultimate. When God said, you know, I trust this person. You know, um, uh, um, Abraham was called a friend of God. That's amazing. But God showed Job off. God showed God. God said, I can use Job to show the enemy that there's nothing he can do to make this guy not love me. God did, God showed Job off, you know, so in your hardest time, don't look at it as, okay, I'm going through something that's, 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 that's going to, that's come to kill me. I, no, 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 look at something that's designed to show you off, you know, um, even, even in, in, in the time of your hard time, amen, even in the time of your hard time where it seems like you're just about to give up. Don't give up because you never know what God is doing. You never know what God is doing behind the scenes. Even when you lose everything, you may lose that job. You may not understand why you lost that job. You may lost that child. Remember, Job lost everything. You know, he lost his, his way to make money. He lost his kids. He lost everything. But God was showing him off. There was a bigger picture behind what Job was losing. So I just want to encourage you today, you know, to, to, to just always... Always, always put your trust and faith in God because you never know what He's doing, even in your darkest hour. You know, you may have lost, you may have lost a child, you may have lost your, you may, you may, you know, be looking at a divorce, you know, um, whatever. Just, just be faithful in God, you know, because hard times only come to make you strong. And and, and, and listen, this world is getting crazy and crazy, and we're gonna need that strength. We're gonna need that strength, you know, and um. So I, I, I that, that that got off a little bit, but I, I really feel like somebody need that. But I really want to say, you know, um, um, check out um, the Love series. Go to youtubecom slash movement to um, to see other videos. You know, we always we I'm not consistent as I should be. I'm working on that, but and putting out videos. Sometimes you know you can't be be consistent. Sometimes it's just you know when God timing is. You know, I, I go through times where I don't have anything to say. I'm talking about anything to say. So I do some news videos. But when you see a lot of news videos, that's just because I don't have nothing to say. I be I I be in, in 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 studying and I just don't have anything to say. That just that's just how it is, you know. You can't I can't command God to, you know, and I don't try to command God to give me a word. I just be faithful in studying his word. So when he does give me one I'm ready. So, you know, go to go to um third movement. We have a lot of videos up there. The um um back in I wanna say March, I believe it was, I did a um series on the spirit of overcoming overcoming fear. So go check that out. Overcoming the spirit of fear, amazing teaching. You know, I I, I really think that that was my first series. Kind of like you know, kind of shaky because it was my first series, but I think it's a lot of powerful stuff in there. My glasses are fogging up. It's getting kind of warm out here. So um, but check out the um the the the, the spirit of fear, and um, be ready for the um, walk in the spirit and the true love series. Let's have one third movement. I'm out.